What's up YouTube family? Today we're going to be talking about being transgender on Tinder and how that basically works out with like trans girls. Yeah, it just I guess it just works differently with us because we are trans, we're not natural born women. So the idea of a woman being born male first and then transitioning to female kind of can like strike guys in a weird way if they don't understand it fully and if you don't want to like fully have to under like explain that to them. Now me, I don't have a Tinder right now because I am in a relationship. So I haven't been on Tinder in like a few months, but Christine here is still active on Tinder <laughs> and doing the most because we're both super tired <laughs> and we both just like, like we just went through like hearing who the next president was going to be and we're both <laughs> devastated. So like, I don't know, this lipstick is still popping. So whatever, let's get started. Transgender on Tinder. <laughs> the first thing this the person asked me was like are you trans and then I was like that's what my profile says he's like oh you look like a girl and I'm like that's because I am a girl he was like you're a boy and now you are a girl and I'm just like yeah what what didn't you get like I'm a girl like you what you see me as is what I am it's not rocket science like you don't need a degree to understand what a female looks like I get the way to shit like Hear this shit out. This is what I get. Sit on my face tonight. <laughs> That's gross. Like, what girl wants to hear that? And I feel like because we're trans, we're so fetishized, and people think like, oh, like, well, you're a different kind of girl. And since guys, m majority of men don't want to date a transgender woman, they kind of want to just sleep with us and use us as an experiment. Uh, you know, there was a profile on there that like says. This guy is legit just looking for a girl to so just sit on his face. They can text on their phones, eat, watch TV. He just wants them sitting on the Oh my faces. god, there was some guy who told me, like, to fart in his mouth. And he was, I remember that. Remember? <laughs> I said, he wants me to fart in his mouth. And I'm I just remember like, that. I, remember. That it, and he, I asked him, like, if he was serious, and he was, like, dead on serious. And I was like, <laughs> you're weird, goodbye. <laughs> do you trick a lot of guys? I was like, what do you mean by that? He's like, well, that hair is luscious, so a lot of guys are probably like, damn, this spade is fine. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? Like, the thing is, is like, guys think that we're tricking them by like, you know, being ourselves and dressing up as like who we are every day. And they think that we're tricking them. So I'm just like, tricking you how? Like, if we're female, there's really no tricking you. You're a male that likes females. I'm a female that likes males. If we talk. There's really no tricking you. There's no trick to it. I got this one. Good morning, gorgeous. You're absolutely beautiful. Hope I don't insult you by asking, but my girlfriend wants to bring another girl into the bedroom and put me in charge of picking her out. It's my first time doing anything like this, so sorry if it sounds creepy. I'm not sure how else to ask, though, lol. It should be a lot of fun. My girlfriend goes to Golden Wet. Oh, blah, blah, blah. They go to... Not going to disclose where they go to. Um, we both live in Huntington Beach. We're looking to try something new and exciting as a young couple. So if you're interested... I hate those. <laughs> where they ask you basically to do a threesome. So if you're interested in trying this out with us, just send us a message and we'll get together. Hope to hear from you soon, Christine. Thank you, Dylan and Megan. And of course, I said, what's up? <laughs> you're just... Disgusting. No, if you ever I do that. Like, what Nothing. is with like I've gotten so many of those like guys like hitting me up because they want me to be the one to be like the third party with him and his girlfriend. It's like he's like, yeah, my girlfriend's bisexual and I'm willing to like please her because we're a young couple. So see what I don't like is three sons because I sh hate sharing the spotlight with another woman. Like, no, it's on me and only on me. I like the full attention on you got that right this. hang me do you have a penis or a vagina <gasps> oh those i get those here and there and it's so annoying wait why <laughs> does it matter what's between my legs what do you see a female and genitalia is like 
not even a factor these days anymore. It's like, who asked that question? Do you go up to a regular born, natural born female and ask, hey, what's between your legs? Can I see? Or flash me your tits so I know they're real. What? That's rude. I'm not asking you, hey, what's between your legs? No, because that's rude. It's my personal space and you've just invaded it. So have a nice day. I've gotten, are you down to fuck? And you know what? And I feel like yeah. trans girls get that like almost all the time because that's what guys like basically want us for. Even on Grinder. Mm -hmm. And just so you know, Grinder is for transgender women as well. Right. Fuck me in the ear hole. What? No, let me and see then that. I got yeah, look. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. And then he also said, Come in my eyeball and I was like kinky LML. He's like, Will you stick your fingers in my pee hole? Now, I don't know if this was a prank. I don't know if he was daring to do this or something, but what? Who tells people that? That this is disgusting. <laughs> what is happening in your life? And I don't know what kind of fetishy, kinky shit you're into, but sticking fingers in pee holes is not something I'm into. I'm so sorry. I'll pass. Have a nice day. That's so gross. I was talking to this boy. The, we saw a for like a very, very long time, and he replies with this. Sorry for ghosting on, on you. Me and my ex got back together. If you want, if you want, text me. Feel, feel free. And I was like, oh, no worries. You know, you have a girlfriend now. Best of luck to you. That's my favorite one. Yeah, and then he goes, we broke up again, but permanently. So, <laughs> <laughs> but permanently this time. And how long ago? How long was the distance between those two messages? The date. That was literally the same day. Yeah. Like, four hours later. What the fuck is wrong with these oh, men are, like, really crazy. I don't understand what the... The problem is, like, Jesus Christ. I just don't know. This one guy telling me, he was like... He's like, what? You don't even look transgender. He's like, you are not a girl. He's like, you're a guy. You were born a guy. And basically telling me what I am. And I'm just like... This was, like, way in the beginning of my mm -hmm. transition, like, way last year. I was like, okay, who the fuck are you, skirt? Who the fuck are you talking to? Reverse Telling me, rewind, because I don't know who the fuck you're talking to, telling me who I am and who I can and cannot be, the fuck? Like, and then I told him, like, you know what, I'm just going to unmatch you, because I don't want to say something ungodly to you, so <laughs> have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> A match, because I don't have time for that shit. Goodbye. I just feel like us as trans girls, we have to go through. It's so different for us, and it's harder to find love, I guess. And I would think just because, like, okay, I was once a gay male, and, like, you know, I've seen so many successful gay relationships, and, like, until this day, they're still going, they're still on and popping. So I'm just like, why is it so hard for us to, like, find love like even though I'm like in a relationship right now it's like still it it took a while and I've been trans longer than Christine so it's like she's she's getting a taste of this shit already like and I'm I warn her all the time like girl you're gonna run into this like it's crazy don't let these guys tell you who you can and cannot be don't let them get into your head don't listen to the nasty things they have to say to you and degrading you and just doing all these things are you mocking me you little asshole <laughs> Yeah, but... Oh! So, I've got... <laughs> I'm really, really curious about everything transgender. I was really hoping I matched with you. I apologize if I ask questions, but it's something I've been attracted to for a while, but never able to talk to a transgender woman. So I said, ask away. Then he said, okay, so I don't have... So I don't have... I've done a little research. I've done a little research, mainly... Because I had a fantasy, which usually always starts with that. It's always a fantasy. So it was purely sexual, you know? <laughs> Wink. I told you. But then I was fascinated and really curious to meet someone and be able to talk to. Or able to talk. So I know there's pre and post. And what do hormones do for you? Okay, so if he's doing all this research, like he said he was doing, he wouldn't have to ask these questions. And he would know better to not ask a trans person are you pre or post op or what do the hormones do for you because obviously it clearly is the internet it's google you can ask google what do hormones do for pre-op transgender women like you type that in and you get 
all the answers. Listen, bulletin style, perfect. So that's bullshit. I don't agree with that. That is a tranny chaser in the making. No, thank you. Do you have one of these? Did you get one of these? Oh, oh the one to suck me up ones? We get, I get mm -hmm. one. Of, you want to suck me up? Yeah, like, oh, like, I don't want to have sex, but we can just do oral stuff. No, and that's the first message they just sent. Like, that's the first message. You want to suck? If I ain't doing the whole thing, then th none of this is happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's not happening. Goodbye. Have a nice night. Mic drop. And that is why I am done with Tinder. And so should you be, bitch. No, but I'm just kidding because it's way better than Grindr. Don't go back to Grindr. Don't go back to Grindr. <laughs> Once you go to Tinder, you don't go back. No, it doesn't sound the same as going black. Once you mingle on Tinder, you never hinder. <laughs> That's Basically, <job. laughs> I almost broke my neck. Oh my and god. And kicked me in the jaw. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was basically it for this video. And I was just telling you about some of our experiences with Tinder. Oh, I'm looking a mess, girl. How dare you let me look like that? But basically, we're just telling you about our experiences on Tinder and why I don't fuck with that shit no more. <laughs> Have a good night or day wherever you are. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.